Hello dear students. Welcome to this course of biomedical signal processing. I am Dr. Gitika. I am working as a faculty in the department of electronics and communication engineering at Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology. Already I posted some lectures on this course but that was mainly focusing on the syllabus of undergraduates. In this course I'll uh, focus some more topics that will mainly cover the postgraduate syllabus. So let's begin with this course introduction. As you can see the name of this subject that is biomedical signal processing, our main focus, uh, we can say the main word in this is signal. And here we are talking about biomedical signals. So we should know first what the signal is. So signal is a function that conveys information or we can say it is something which carries information. And as I mentioned in this, we'll mainly focus on the biomedical signals. So we should know what these biomedical signals are. But for that, we should understand what is the system. So system is a group of similar and dissimilar units which are working together for a common purpose. Now, as we have to talk about the biomedical signal and the word bio, from where that bio word is coming, that is because the signals are related to our body. So can you say that our body or we can say a human body is a system? The answer is absolutely yes. Now, why we can call our body as a system? Because we know our body is composed of many subsystems which together enables us to do a lot of things. The human body functions properly due to the coordinated action of various these subsystems. In our body, we can have different subsystems like skeletal system, circulatory system, respiratory system, digestive system, excretory system, muscular system, nervous system, reproductive system. So each of this subsystem of our body has to work continuously and properly to keep us healthy. Or we can say that our body is constantly communicating information about our health. If these systems are working properly, we can say that our health is good. Otherwise, there will be some problem with any of this system. So this information about our health, our body is provided by means of biomedical signals. This information can be captured to different physiological instruments like the instruments which are measuring heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation levels, blood glucose, nerve conduction, brain activity, and so forth. So we can define the biomedical signals that are observations of physiological activities ranging from the gene and protein sequences to nerve conduction, cardiac rhythms, to tissue and organ images. Now, these biomedical signals can be classified on the basis of number of points which are used to collect the data or it can be classified as the type of potential. In the points used to collect data, we can have the signal varying with time or the single valued signal. Now, the signal varying with time includes ECG that is electrocardiogram which gives us information about our heart. We have EEG that is electroencephalogram which gives information about the working or condition of our brain. We have electromyogram which, are, which is mainly related to the muscle part. So like that we have different signals. And in single valued signals, we are like we are measuring our body temperature, we are measuring blood pressure. So these are the single valued signals. Now, on the basis of potential, we can have action potential signals. In that, again, we can have ECG, EEG, EMG, etc. And also, 
we can have event related potentials we, and in this we have eeg veg etc so these are the different biomedical signals and in this course of uh, biomedical signal processing we will mainly focus on the properties of ecg and eeg signals now before moving over to this course we should understand the computer assisted diagnosis based on biomedical signal processing and analysis so this is a block diagram which is used for computer aided analysis of biomedical signals if you see the starting stage in this is we can say a source or we can call it as a experimental subject and sometimes we are also calling them as patients so the source is a, a person or a patient and we are taking the biomedical signals from the source that can be eeg ecg emg whatever means which part we are uh, going to check or which signal we want depending upon in which part of our body we have some problem or something like that then the first stage after this is a signal data acquisition stage so it gives the data which we need to process or to analyze and the procedures can be invasive non invasive but mainly always the non invasive procedures are beneficial over the invasive procedures now the first uh, stage in this signal data acquisition is the transducer so transducer as we are interested in this in electrical signal as output so transducer will convert uh, any form of signal into an electrical signal now next is the isolation amplifier as we have connected the human subject means the source or patient with the electrical signal there is a need of isolation so that even by mistake the electrical potential of the instrument is not injected back to the patient so we should have isolation amplifiers they are followed by the further amplifiers and filters which are providing necessary initial amplification and also filtering of the signal then we have analog to digital conversion as we know in nowadays time mainly we are focusing on the digital methods to process the signal so this conversion means analog to digital conversion is important as digital signal processing has number of advantages over analog signal processing so that's why this signal data acquisition is finally followed by the signal processing stage so in this course also we will mainly focus on this block so the first block in this is the artifacts or noise removal this ecg uh, or eeg signal they have uh, different types of noise present in them so we should know what are the different kinds of noise present in them and how we can remove so in this signal processing we will discuss about the different filtering techniques to uh, amplify or to filter these signals then in this we have the next stage that is detection of events and components mainly in this course we'll talk about the events that are present in eeg signal ecg signals and how we can detect those events then this stage is followed by the signal analysis stage which has the feature extraction part and then have pattern recognition and classification and we will study different algorithms for pattern recognition to identify the problem if any present in the person and then it produce the diagnostic decision that information will be further given to the physician or the medical specialist who can finally understand the situation better and can give required treatment to the patient if needed so this was the overall block diagram and in this as i mentioned the signal processing and artifacts and noise removal and detection of even and component compart is mainly what we focus on so this is a course curriculum of this course we have number of units 
So first will be introduction to biomedical signals. In this, we will discuss about the different signals, ECG, EEG, their features and origin of their signals. Then we will focus on the processing of random and stochastic signals, spectral estimation, properties and effects of noise that are present in biomedical signals and then filtering of the signals. Then we have concurrent, coupled and correlated processes. In this, we will see different case studies. We will discuss some of the filtering methods also like adaptive and optimal filtering. Also, we will focus on the modeling of biomedical signal, detection of biomedical signals in noise, removal of artifacts of one signal embedded in the another, maternal fetal ECG, muscle contraction interference, and also we will discuss different uh, events and case studies with ECG and EEG. And also we will focus on one more topic that is independent component analysis, which include cocktail party problem, which is applied to EEG signals. Then we will uh, get into more information about ECG and we will discuss what are the different events present in that, what are the different noises present in that and how we can detect and filter the noises. Then we have another important topic in this course is data compression. As we know nowadays, data compression is uh, very much which is needed. So in this course, we will discuss about the different lossy methods and also we will mainly highlight some of the lossless methods. Then also in this course, uh, we will have another topic that is measuring heart rate variability using different time domain and frequency domain measures. And also we will see what are the interaction of this with other physiological signals. Then we will come to neurological applications that will mainly cover the EEG part. What are the different kind of disorders and present in the EEG and the person. We'll discuss about the modeling of EEG using the linear modeling techniques and also non-linear modeling. And EEG segmentation is the main topic here. Then joint time frequency analysis, correlation analysis and coherence analysis of the EEG channels. So this is what we will discuss in this course. Uh, for this course, we can uh, we have CLOs that is course learning outcomes. So after this course, the student will be able to understand the basics of various biomedical signals to understand fundamentals of different processes which are which is related to biomedical signals then to understand and analyze various parameters related to biomedical signals to understand data compression and its application in biomedical field and finally to understand the different neurological models of ECG and EEG and for this uh, curriculum we can refer to uh, some of the we have some of the textbooks in list and also some of the reference books for textbooks you can refer the book by dc ready that is biomedical signal processing principles and techniques by tata mcgraw hill we can also have willis j tompkins that is biomedical digital signal processing anyway we don't have lab in this course so we can skip over the programming part and then we have another important book that is by R. Rangayan, Biomedical Signal Analysis. Similarly, we have by Bruce, Biomedical Signal Processing and Signal Modeling. Also, we have some of the reference books. So I again welcome you to this course and thank you so much.